Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you switch as a network device. In my previous videos, I have already explained you how repeater hub and bridge functions. So if you have seen my previous videos, in that I have explained how repeater functions, how hub functions, as well as how bridge functions. In this video, I'll explain you how switch will work in computer network. So let us see the basics of switch first. See switch can be considered as multi port bridge. See here with switch there are multiple ports like you observe here with switch I have shown four ports over here and over here with practical diagram you can observe there are multiple ports available with switch. So this is one switch with which multiple ports are available here you can observe with this switch there are so many ports right. So here you can say switch is a multiple port device and that is what multiple port bridge. Like if you observe with bridge, we were been having two ports only, right? But with switch, there can be so many ports. Now why I am saying multiple port bridge? The reason is switch and bridge both functions at data link layer. Both are layer 2 device. So if you observe bridge, Bridge is also data link layer device or you can say layer 2 device, right. So switch is considered as multi port bridge. There are some questions that usually comes in UGC net examination in which they may ask you like switch works at which layer. So you should know it works at data link layer or you can say it is working at layer 2, right. And sometimes they may ask you like is it working at MAC address of the device? So yes, it is working at MAC address. Why the reason is in data link layer, we are adding MAC address of the device, right? So it operates at MAC address of the host. So based on MAC address, it will be identifying how frame should be forwarded inside computer network. So here you can say it is doing filtering based on MAC address. Let me give you an example. For example, if I say we are having, we are having host A over here and host A wants to communicate with host 1 over here. So this is host, right? With switch we can connect LANs as well as host. So here host A wants to communicate with host 1. So here what will happen? Here switch will come into the picture. So when host A forwards a frame, when host A forwards a frame, in frame there will be MAC address of source and destination right MAC address of source and destination and based on MAC address this switch will route this frame towards host 1 switch will route this frame towards host 1 right so here you can say this switch is passing frame based on MAC address right now how it does filtering let me show you that case even so for example here inside LAN2 let us say we are having host P and host Q. So here what will happen as if I say host P is sending frame to host Q then simply simply here host P will be transferring data in ho ho towards host Q right and it is there in same LAN. But if you observe this this frame that will also go towards and it will also go towards switch right and switch will be observing this host p and host q both are there with mac address which belongs to lan2 only so it will not forward this frame to any other port which is available over here right so it does filtering but that filtering happens based on mac address remember this now very essential point that comes that is based on buffers and processing power. See switch is having buffers and it is also having processing power. Let me show you how it uses buffer. For example, as if HA is sending frame to host 1, then the frame forwarded by HA that is getting stored inside buffer of switch first and then it will be performing error check. As if that frame is error free, then only this switch will forward this frame to host 1. 
So for error checking, it is having some processing power. Like we have seen CRC check or checksum, right? So CRC checking and checksum that can be performed at switch level. Nowadays with this 2023, we will be observing switch comes with some processing power, but with older version of switch that was having some combinational circuits inside with which it was calculating that CRC, right? So nowadays switches are available with some processing power in which it will be checking error before it forwards the frame. So this is how some basics are there with switch. You should know switch is multi-port device. It is working at data link layer. It is having some processing power inside. It forwards frame with error checking, right? It forwards frame with error checking. So you can say here collision domain that is very less with switch compared to previous device. We have seen previous device, right? Bridge as well as hub as well as repeater. So if you see all those devices in that we have been having more chances of collisions. Why the reason is with repeater all the host can have signals inside repeater. With hub also signal will go via this hub. So all the host can transfer the signal over here with hub and here with bridge also all this host can transfer data via bridge. So collision domain that was bit more with repeater and with hub collision domain is highest. With bridge we are reducing collision domain up to some extent because of it is layer 2 device right. But with switch it is having lower collision compared to previous devices. Why the reason is it is working at data link layer but along with that it can perform error check. So that is how comparison is there. In next video, I'll explain you router and still if any confusion is there with you, please note it down over here in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.